British Science Festival is the longest established event of its kind in Europe. We've been going since 1831. The festival has had some amazing things happen during its history. Did you know that it was at our festival that the word scientist was first used and the word dinosaur was first coined? As part of our festival program today, we have a series of award lectures that are named after some of the world's most celebrated scientists like Charles Darwin and Isambard Kingdom Brunel. And every year, we present an award lecture to an outstanding science communicator. It was the first piece of recognition, I suppose, I'd got. It was the first award that I'd won for public understanding of science, talking about science in public. And uh, I was basically a university researcher at that point, so it was very important. The award lecture programme is really important because it can get new science communicators off the ground. They can sort of start um, doing lectures and um, uh, reaching a wider audience. Uh, when, when you're starting out as a science communicator, that's really important. This is a great opportunity to really try and hit the ball out of the park, really try and share my passion for the science I do with the general public, other scientists and so forth. I think for an incoming award lecturer, you really want to start thinking early and think, you know, this is my opportunity to really show Britain what kind of scientist and communicator I am. And so you got to start thinking about that early, get, get things together early and just aim high. You know, don't just come and give a lecture. Really come and, and try and add some spice, you know, no matter what research you do. At last, there are four components to being an academic and to having an academic career. There's teaching, admin, there's research, but there's also public engagement. I, mean, I hadn't been as far as I remember, on television or on radio at that point. So it was, it was a, a real, um, the, I suppose, a, a stepping stone in the sense that it's, it's a big event. There's a lot of focus on it. And, and I think the fact that it, they, they gave it to me, is it, we, at, at the time, someone who's relatively unknown but had just started in giving public lectures. And obviously someone had seen one and thought, well, that's OK and worthy of this award. I, I think it was sort of um, a badge of honour um, when, as a science communicator, you need to prove yourself. And winning um, the award made people think, oh yeah, she's probably a good science communicator. So I think in that way it's got me some more work. The thing about uh, the award lecture is it just increases your visibility. It's, uh, it lets new people know that you're out there, you're, what you want to let people know more about the science that you're doing. And it connects you with uh, possibilities to go on and do other things beyond the, the festival at which the award lecture actually happens. You have to get, think outside the box and think of ways of communicating ideas with clever metaphors, with exercises, with questions, anything to draw people in and help them learn by doing rather just, than just by hearing. The, the best piece of advice I've ever been given in a sense is just to be yourself. If you let your own experience and enthusiasm for what you're doing come out, then uh, that's what the audience takes away. I'd say go for it. I mean, it's. Um... It's a great opportunity, it's a lot of fun, but there's certainly nothing to fear. I mean, it's, it, the, the audiences are very friendly, nothing like a, the sort of things you're used to as an academic most of the time. So yeah, it's just a good opportunity to go and have fun. I will absolutely be coming to the festival next year. It's not only a great place to talk about your own science, but also to soak up uh, all the other stuff that's been going on over the course of the year. Some of the UK's most celebrated science communicators have been recipients of award lectures in the past. So if you think that you want a future as brilliant as some of those scientists, we want you to apply to be award lecturers in the future.